this was performed at a wedding. Come on now. And just when you feel like your marriage, you know, the wine is running out, you feel like it's become like blah, you know, boring, or you feel like it's become everyday and water like. Well, Jesus can turn the water into Come intoxicating on wine. Wow. And I got a word from the Lord for you. Get back to kissing. <laughs> get, get intoxicated with your spouse every day. Don't forget to kiss. Don't forget. back in a minute, bro. <laughs> Are we in the zone? You need help, bro. We have to pray for you. I think we will. We have to pray for you. You need some of the herbs of the land, yo. <laughs> you win. Okay, I want to do something. Do, now, now we'll go to the transition to the series. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Yes, you baby. Okay, do me a favor. Tell me when a picture goes up on the screen, because I can't see them, of a service that happened right here in Caesarea. Okay, it's on the screen. Is it the wide shot? Okay, I gotta see which one. I can't see. Okay, and let me just see, let me just see the, okay, let me see the other shot. Okay, there we go. Okay, go, go back to the wide shot. Okay, Pastor, uh, right here, you know, together, we experienced something that, that happened the um, entirety of what happened here. Just go back for a minute and kind of explain uh, to this group, 2012, we were together. That picture is this stage from 2012. That was a time when my father, after 40 years, placed the mantle of TBN upon Lori and I, and you are a big connection to that story. Okay, just, just explain kind of what happened in, in, a, in however long you want to I think say. two days before Caesarea, how many of you were here? Can I see if I show hands? Okay. How many of you were here? Wave. I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, we have some repeaters. Okay. All right. And uh, in 20, uh, 2012, two days before we were here, uh, we were having dinner with your dad, yeah. Dr. Paul Grouch, and um, he was asking me some tough questions, you know, on, on grace and some questions he's been wanting to ask. And I, I answered, thank God, every one of them. And he says, I'm satisfied. Yeah. You know, and then we were minding our own business, eating. I was eating chicken schnitzel. Yeah. And I still remember that. And, yeah. uh, all of a sudden, from my spirit came a vision, and I'm very careful about talking about visions and seeing things because I know people are, who are seeing visions all the time. All right, but uh, I will not say it until I really experience it. I saw a floating vision coming out of my spirit, and I saw Dr. Paul Crouch laying his hands on you wow. and doing it in public. So I said, Sir, I, I don't mean to be remiss. I, I, just want to share with you that I saw something just now. I saw you laying hands on Matt, and Matt was on the other side enjoying his steak or something at the time. Yeah, money his own business, and and he says, uh, and, and I, I ask him, have you ever laid hands on Matt in public? Yeah. And he looked at me and said, Have I done that, Matt? He asked. Me. And uh, he says, uh, I've laid hands on him privately. Let's do this in Caesarea. Yeah. I want to lay hands on you in public. Yeah. Yeah. That was all I said. I just reported the vision I saw. And, and he said, uh, Joseph, I've been wanting to show you this. And Matt has never seen this. Laurie has never seen this. He took out his old Bible and all the notes were like falling out. And he turned to Hebrews chapter 12, where it says, we. Wherefore we have been surrounded with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us run with patience on, the race that is set before us. And he says, Joseph, very soon I'll join those witnesses. Amen. And look at what I wrote right on top of my Bible, right on top of Hebrews 12. Right? That that margin there. You wrote, run, man, run. Yeah. And you have never seen this Bible. Those words, man, you have never heard. 
heard him say those words to you, it was the first time, it was a, a big shock to you as well. Yeah. And he says, uh, I'm going to pray and release this word. Come this is a event. My point in reminiscing about that is, first of all, these people that are here now, we're in, if you just tuned in, we're in Caesarea. This is 2016, four years later. Um, what I can report to you is that when Lori and I started, uh, that when that mantle took effect back in 2012, my duties changed in the year of 2015. And by unanimous decision that the board of directors named me the chairman of the board of directors. And what we did then almost immediately is we took steps to make sure that the gospel of grace would be front and center. And I don't know how many people have seen it in the early parts of 216, but we are now waking up to hope and grace in the morning. And I just want you to know that you have helped put definition to Lori and me. The gospel of grace is something that changes people. Everyone here traveled from wherever they came from. And before you got here, I think we read off maybe 35 nations or 40 nations that this crowd represents. Everyone just say where you're from all together at the same time. Three, two, one. Amazing. That is awesome. We didn't understand a thing you said. I promise you. Yeah, beautiful. And so the idea that that uh, event 2012 has resulted in us making sure that the gospel of grace would be front and center in everything that we do. We're here again in 2016. One day soon we'll talk about putting together another trip some other time in, a, in, a, in another year. But here we are today and we're ready to go to church. Those from New Creation Church, let me hear you. Are you guys all together? Let me hear something. Come on. A little bit of keyboard, a little bit of drums, a little bit of guitar. Let me hear a little tune-up. Guitars, a little bit of keyboards here. Kind of like uh, just Okay, give me, give me an Elvis Presley drum solo right now. Like your pastor Prickley was singing. Go. Go nuts right now. Okay, we just want to invite you to just 